All right, we have a replay here from DVD Bark in the Tack versus Taveron. It's also known as Stormrunner in our Discord, one of my admins. Mostly a quick battle stand. Don't see him on the Verminling ladder much, but he does enjoy himself a lot of quick battles. I have some archers of the Wood Elves versus the Empire. And we do have two war wagons, which, which people are... People are very upset about war wagons, but not these type. The two mortar wagons are unique. So we have um, two deep wood scouts for shards, the Hawkeyes of Chikira, Waywatchers, Arawar, Glade Riders, and Wild Riders. Everybody in Vanguard. A front line of five Dryads, also in Vanguard, and a high magic caster with Hand of Glory, Apotheosis, Tempest, interestingly enough. Um, all that on foot, so... Big Vanguard here from the Wood Elves. Meanwhile, the Empire throws out some Knights of the Blazing Sun, some Reichsguard, Pistoliers. Looks like three Pistoliers. One Outrider with Grenade Launchers, two War Wagons with Mortars, then a bunch of Swordsmen, Spearmen. We have a Net Caster with Verona's Time Warp. We have Marcus Wolfhart with another Net and uh, his his abilities, Focus Shot and Amber Bow. All right. So the Pistoliers did try to ride out. That was ill-advised. They probably should have gone back towards their friends, and now they are entirely wrapped up in Wood Elf. Melee cab, they are getting eviscerated, and that is a rough start for the Imperial Skirmish Corps. Elsewhere, the Outriders Grenade Launchers also felt the fury of the Wood Elf Hawkshots. And they're almost dead. Meanwhile, more Glade Riders from the flank are coming in. Oh, we have some Glade Riders of Hagen Tips. Alright, look at you go. But not, as, not all is that bad for the Empire. We do have a good net and counter charge here, so these Reichs Guards should make short work of the Glade Riders of Spear, especially with some Marcus Wolfhard support. And the Dryad front line for the Wood Elves has not gotten off without a without a bit of rebuttal. One of them is already routing and almost dead. Another one is wrapped up in combat. So, yeah, still pretty good start for the Wood Elves here. These Glade Riders are about to route. There they go. All three of the Pistoliers have shattered or entirely died. And the Mortar Wagons they are actually doing pretty good damage to these Deepwood Scouts. Even with their scattered formation, the Mortars are tearing them a new one. Now, a couple of them are overlapping, so maybe that is why it's doing so much damage, but still a little bit surprised. The Empire Frontline thoroughly outnumbering the Dryads will hold. And with their superior cavalry to the Wood Elves, they also will win those melee fights, so... Yeah. Dryads have come back. Dryads should route again as grenades punch them in the face. I'm not sure trees are really ready for that sort of treatment. And the three big skirmish archers of the Wood Elves are coming back in to try and get some damage out. You can see the Hawkeyes of Shakira are hitting those Reichsguard from that Discourage they are given. Shrift Shiver Shard's also trying to lend some aid over there. Try to snipe the caster. Maybe he was caught sleeping a little bit. He is on foot, though, which makes him very, very hard for those types of archers to hit. Dryads trying to hold on. Another net coming in for these Glade Riders. Is there cavalry to countercharge? Yes, Knights of the Blazing Sun just turn around and they are going to kick the shit out of them while these other Reichsguard chase off the Dryads. Meanwhile, the Glade Riders, with their little magic damage ammunition, is trying to fire in. They don't really have good arm piercing value, though, so it's not a huge deal for the Empire. Light Wizard is getting sniped out a little bit. These war Mortar Wagons need to be given orders to shoot at something. They don't have firewall moving. Yeah, they don't have firewall moving like their uh, 360 handgun cousins. More Glade Riders and the Wild Horses of Kronos are opting into the fight. The last of the Healthy Dryads is over here, but another net for Marcus Wolfhart. Now, in tournament play, this was clearly a quick battle. In tournament play, you can only have one net rather than uh, two different sources of nets for obvious reasons, because it has been clearly very annoying for the Wood Elves to try and move or do anything. So, in tournaments, nets are limited to one. But out in the Wild West, quick battles, you can do whatever. Now, this is going well overall. For the Empire, this little engagement, they did net down and take out the Wild Hunters of Kronos. These Glade Riders are also taking a lot of damage, but it is not all for free, as the Hawkeyes of Shakira and these Deepwood Scouts are just raining in fire. But counter fire from the Outriders Grenade Launchers, just everybody is getting shot in that pile. Everybody who's involved in that pile is dead. Bounce power is about even, maybe slightly Empire favored, as Outriders Grenade Launchers try and turn and deal with the Hagbane Tips, who are trying to fight the War Wagons in melee combat. You can see the War Wagons. Taking a little bit of damage, but mostly as long as they keep moving, they can't really take too much damage. Another net of Amnitok hitting these units, and now we're just getting launchers are going to get away. Meanwhile, the remnants of the Knights of Blazing Sun and Reichsguard charge over into the Deepwood Scouts, taking a ton of them to the grave with them as the Hawkeye and Shakira try to peel a little bit, give some covering fire. That Discourage on their shots will really help out over there. But the Outriders grenade launchers roll up, take about half HP off the Hawkeyes as they just fire in these little grenade launcher lads blowing apart the elite elven archers. 
more cavalry opt into that fight trying to take him out meanwhile the more mortar wagons are eventually pushed off by the better of spears and with another volley coming in onto those guys i imagine they will not be long for this world one leadership keeping in this fight they are out the empire mortar wagons are out but is it gonna be enough for the wood elves because after their archers get cleaned up that's brutal. That's brutal stuff. Spell for high magic somehow. Oh, she is on horseback at least. Okay. She runs up. She gets rid of these outriders with a little bit of help from the Hawkeyes of Jakira, who are now going to peel themselves with a smoke bomb. They're discouraged. Yep, that is going to be the end of those Knights of the Blazing Sun. They'll probably route here in just a second. There they go. Marcus Wolfhart trying to throw out a snipe from wherever he is across the entire map. It looks like he hasn't fired it yet. And he's just dealing with Glade Riders. Empire is up on the balance of power that is heavily weighted on their single entities having high health pools Even though one of them is a light caster that doesn't really have a whole lot of utility Reichsguard coming in trying to run down the last of these little elves But they are getting caught up for a moment Then they get shot by the Hawkeyes or Jakira that lowers their leadership so much that They are going to route just after they get a charge off And then the Hawkeyes or Jakira also start firing at the light wizard Some Empire Cavern's chaff is rallying up on the hillside Spearman rear charging some Glade Riders. Spear is going to take them out, going to free up Marcus Wolfhart to do his good shooting business. And the Light Wizard takes some more damage. Verona's Time Warp is cast on these Knights of Blazing Sun, giving them 66 melee stats plus the charge. They do get a nice collision into here with the Deepwood Scouts. Not doing as much damage as you would think, but also Outriders Grenade Launchers raining in some fire, really just trying to do what they can for the Knights of Blazing Sun before they also route those Hawkeyes or Shakira. Man, that Discouraged is brutal. Very healthy Glade Rider chasing off the War Wagons. Meanwhile, two very damaged, three damaged Glade Riders are all coming back to the fight. Empire again having a bit of a resurgence in the chaff department all coming back. The Outriders Grenade Launchers fire one last volley before hitting the hitting the road. Hightailing it out of here. Another Verona's Time Warp is cast onto some chaff onto the Knights of Blazing Sun as well. Just before the Light Wizard himself gets peeled off. Bounce power is at about half. Wolfheart's still fighting with some Dryads. Occasionally firing over into the Glade Guard as well. Glade Riders, whatever. Everything's a Glade. Knights of the Blazing Sun, Charger of the Deepwood Scouts, route them before the Hawkeyes of Jakira. As we have said this entire game, Hawkeyes of Jakira fire back, lower their leadership so much that they route and even shatter. Our Knights of Grenade Launchers could get a juicy volley onto this clump of Glade Riders. Oh, bam. There they go. Shattering both the units. Hawkeyes are back. Deepwood Scouts very low on health, though their leadership is positive enough that they fucking died. Oh, it looks like they died. Yeah, they didn't shatter. They just straight up died. Okay, that tracks. Bounce power still even. We have a healthy swordsman. We have Marcus Wolfhart. That's about it. Lowex Blessing giving this lady stock, though one last arrow was fired at him before that wore off. Wolfhart should probably just turn around and rip one shot into these guys sideways. That would take out a couple models and guarantee they route. Doesn't look like he'll be able to as he runs to regather up his swordsmen. Shattered, shattered, shattered. It's the only things for the Empire that could possibly come back would maybe be those spearmen, maybe be those swordsmen. But otherwise, you get what you get. It's the last of these healthy Sigmarite lads are going to run into the netted horsemen and dryads. Mostly the horsemen. Hawkeyes of Dracura, big shot onto Marcus Wolfhart. His leadership tanks down just because of that discourage. The minus 16 is really brutal, so if he can withstand through that... He'll be okay. But man, he's taking a lot of damage from those Way Watchers. Oh my god, he's taking a ton. He goes to negative 22. He is going to rout the Swordsman of the Empire, continuing to fight, continuing to hold on. As Wolfhart's going to run away, but this this uh, horse lady is going to run him down pretty easily. Even though horse characters are nefariously bad at hitting foot characters. Still, she'll get him eventually. Swordsman routes off everything except for the Hawkeyes or Shakira. Other swordsmen running forward to deal with them as well. Balance power, though, shifts into army losses territory, and the Wood Elves will claim victory this day. Nine hundred value on the caster, two thousand four hundred on the Hawkeyes or Shakira, four hundred and six hundred on the Deepwood Scouts. Otherwise. Uh, Wild Hunters Kronos struggled to get their value back. Glade Riders with their bows did incredibly well. Most of their value might have been for killing those war wagons, but still, very, very nice stuff from them. Dryads overall did fine. They traded up into the Empire Infantry. They were just horribly outnumbered, and Glade Riders Spears did very nicely.
No side for Tavaron. Marcus Wolfhart did okay. Knights of Blazing Sun did incredibly well. Reichsguard did all right. Pistoliers, that was just a very unfortunate start for them, and they opted into running, trying to run past the Wood Elf line rather than retreating. They all got murdered. Arders and Launchers did fine. Mortar Wagons did okay. Lightcaster did well. And then the Frontline of the Empire did swimmingly. GG. Rawr! Subscribe, yes, yes.